Damn! Oh yeah, sound levels look amazing. Almost as good as you look, Axel. <laughs> Welcome to the video, Axel. You look amazing today, Axel. And the uh, Lottie's Lazas and Lazar, whatever, everyone else, pff, whatever. Welcome to the click I do. Hope you have an amazing day as well, or something like that. Today we're gonna do something I really enjoy doing. We're gonna dig into r slash frick you Karen, which is just amazing stories. Corky girls mixed with like all the kind of beautiful things of the world. Live, laugh, Eat a suck. Enjoy. And a lot of people recently have been telling me that YouTube have unsubscribed them from my channel in the comments. It's outrageous. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Double check uh, so you don't miss out on this uh, beautiful content. Powered by bitch dust. Oh my god, Disney is so magical nowadays. <laughs> it's the same kind of people that think they just think toxic as heck is like queen energy. <laughs> Oh, you kicked that puppy? Yes, Queen Slay. Karen, manager, come closer. I need... I need... A one hundred dollar item for ten dollars. Oh, don't mind if I do. You can just do it with ASMR. I need this item for a lot less than it's listed for, please. Alright, that's not suffering for today. Did you know I have an ASMR channel? Like, unironically? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Using big words is another form of white supremacy. Blacks who live in urban areas don't have the same access to education as whites. This makes them less... Smart. Uh, if you feel the need to communicate like you are a thesaurus, you are probably a white supremacist. You know that, you know those moments when you have some overly woke person that just tries so hard to be anti-racist that they turn out to be the biggest racist in the room. Oh my god, the 180s! <laughs> Like, are you listening to yourself before you write this? You can't use big words with, with, with these, this minority population because they're stupid. <laughs> so don't be mean to them. Like, whoa, <laughs> what? Hey, Karen, don't be a Richard. Please be patient and nice as we are short-staffed. <laughs> I won't pay attention to this sign because I can't read. The first Karen, 1923. It is a fine tradition carried down through generations. <sighs> it's so nice to see that we have common values in the world. I did it because I'm a Scorpio. No, Jennifer, you did it because you are a bish. My star sign is a pile of manure. An American Airlines flight turns back over the Atlantic because of a passenger mask dispute. You know what makes this even worse? It makes it worse for a few reasons. Number one, it's such a massive hassle for so many people for such a minuscule thing. Number two, the airplane itself probably had to dump fuel for this. Because airplanes are planned, so when they land, they have spent the fuel that they put into the airplane when they lift off. So they calculate so it's not too heavy when it lands, because otherwise the equipment and, you know, the wheels and stuff might go kaboosh. Uh, so this is actually so bad for many reasons. You waste people times, you may waste people's employments, you're a hassle for everyone, and you just probably dumped a bunch of fuel into the sea. Woo, Karen! <laughs> but I am against cloth pieces, because I am brave and quirky. A woman just came into the shop and said, It's so weird, I lost my sense of taste and smell four days ago, and I don't even know why. Ma'am, what the frick? <laughs> like, how can you be so... The phrase living under a rock isn't sufficient in certain communicational situations. One star. Absolutely disturbing behavior by staff. Raphael refused to allow a click and collect without showing a vax passport. Would you refuse admission to someone who chooses their own medical treatment? People like this are part of the problem, not the solution. Management are just as much to blame. But putting kids on front doors who have never studied history. This form of apartheid happened in Germany in 1937, and you clearly have not learned from history. Any form of discrimination is not okay! There are plenty of videos online and on YouTube that compare various pandemics throughout history, and this is hardly the first time that, you know, there have been hassles with dealing with pandemics. And I think the thing that makes me so weirded out by this whole thing is the lack of responsibility. Personal freedom is a great thing, but there also has to be a kind of accountability, and when you affect others so much by your choice, it's not only your own freedom anymore. Is it the other person's freedom to not want to get sick at a higher rate? Not to mention, if you compare it to, for example, smokers, you can say, well, if, if you want to smoke over there in your corner, that's perfectly fine. But I wouldn't want you smoking inside my house or like on the same bus I'm sitting on or anything like that. There are reasons why there are laws against this. Uh, your 
right doesn't trump everyone else's. It feels like this kind of I am the center of attention kind of argument, and I don't I don't like that. Karens, when they find out there's more mercury in a tuna sandwich than it ever was in a vaccine. What in the goddamn frick? Oh uh, my god, it's the tuna sandwiches that causes autism after all. Disclaimer, that was a joke. We are not spreading misinformation on this channel. This is a joke. Steakhouse. I will not be back if boys look like women with nails painted and are serving people. Seriously. Welcome to America. Uh, nails longer than mine, eyebrows painted on the makeup. What the frick Scott came unglued so gross <laughs> of a sparkly choker necklace. I understand, just crazy. At the steakhouse, we support our staff 100%, no matter their religion, race, criminal history, or sexuality. I don't judge. I choose to provide an opportunity of employment for everyone. If this offends you, then please stay at home. After all, if you could cook, Debbie, then maybe Scott wouldn't be looking at his server all night. Oh, that's, that's probably the reason why they're so upset at Spaghetti. They were just uh, insecure that the server had better nails than they had. <laughs> Take that, Debbie. <laughs> in a world full of Karens. Be a blue hoodie girl. I have seen this clip. I don't think I can show it in this video because it's like a typical public freakout. Lots of yelling. But standing up for your friends and stuff that you work with and your colleagues, gosh, gosh, heck and darn it, girl. Yes, heck, yes, yes, slay, kevin. Vicky just ordered spike strips so people would stop using her circular driveway to turn around. I hate to be this person with the nail spikes, but I'm so tired of people using my circular drive as a pull-through to turn around. So much that I posted a sign at the end of my driveway. Apparently that isn't enough. That said, I just put two of these in my Amazon cart. They will be here Monday. Things will work out the way they work out. Shrug emoji. May the odds be forever in your favor. <laughs> so wait. <laughs> I, I don't think this is legal in any sense of the word, but I mean, in most parts, when you have a, you know, area that you don't want people to drive through, people usually put up a sign or there may be like a simple blocker over the road. Th this is this is going to be a lot of illegal issues. I hope I can keep up with the story as it progresses. It sounds absolutely fascinating. I am in Publix. The lady in front of me has a cart full of stuff. The cashier casually asks her, are you stocking up on groceries to stay safe? The lady responds, I actually tested positive three days ago. I am in quarantine now. You know that word you're using? I, I don't think it means what you think it means. It's the fact that a lot of people don't actually see retail or service workers as human being. Yup, I am a restaurant hostess, and a number of times I've been told there is no reason for me to wear this stupid mask. There is no one here. By someone a foot from my face is entirely too high. We don't count as other people. But you see, it's other customers. You are simply like servants and like subordinates. You know, it's it's supposed to be like, you know, the, pay, the actual people. <laughs> I am very accepting and, and modern-minded. <laughs> nurse here, but it's the same. When I walk in the room, they refuse to mask up and are sick already. When I insert an intravigous catheter, I ask them not to breathe on my face, but they never comply because they want to see what I'm doing. Oh my, yep. People, humanity was a mistake, I swear to God. Older model car parked on local street. Look at this abomination. Can someone do something about this? I've tried the police and blorp office to no avail. <laughs> we pay a lot of money to live in this neighborhood. It's outrageous that we should have to look at cars with such a low Kelly blue book value. Oh my God. <laughs> my house is so pretty. Can you imagine a car that isn't like a Tesla or a Ferrari standing on the same road as mine? My God. Scientist. The mercury in vaccines was part of a larger safe molecule and was removed in order to ease public fears. Karen. <laughs> I love that little face. It's, uh, it's such a good meme. Hello, staff. Due to shortage of staff from the common cold variant and terrible recruitment climate brought about by the entitled young generation, we will be suspending PTO and sick pay for all vaccinated and non-vaccinated employees. Do not use Omnicrom as an excuse to miss work. Just wear a mask. We have deadlines to meet. Employees who are found using this lame excuse will be terminated immediately. Wait, so let me get this straight. You're short on staff, so you're forcing sick people to come in. E even without a pandemic, this is, this is kind of weird. <laughs> you're gonna lay off even more people if they don't come in while they're sick when you're already short on staff. There are like three or four different twists of logic in this thing, and none of them make sense. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, what a great business. Karen Blorp. Apple cider vinegar in with your dog's meal is a natural warming. Really now? I teaspoon for large dogs and then down the smaller doses that dogs are smaller. 
Uh, to Karen, absolutely no proof a CV does anything for worms. This type of advice is extremely harmful and it is the dogs that suffer. Karen, I beg your pardon, Missy. I have a 10 year old and 8 year old border collie and Kelpie who I fed a CV all their life and they don't never had worms and never warming tablets and I have vet checked. So please mind your business. I give that advice from experience, not from reading a book. It's people like you who spot out about proven natural remedies and debunk them without any experience yourself. Do you have shares in the vet industry? You're also probably one of those people who can't believe that cancer can be cured naturally. Oh, uh, wow, who could possibly believe that? I could prove you wrong there as well, so please keep your opinions to yourself while others can give informed natural remedies. Oh my god, what a science. I think we all can agree that experience and anecdotal evidence, there's like a really fine line between those two. You can say that experience is very nice to have in most parts of the world, but saying like your singular anecdotal case of like, oh, I've been feeding my dog random stuff, and it never got worms. Percentage of dogs who have worms in their lifetime. Surprisingly, almost 36% of all dogs and 52% of dogs sampled from southeastern states harbored at least one major intestinal worm parasite. Okay, so if, if you went to the vet and tested your dog for worms, it's like two thirds of a chance that it didn't actually have a worm, no matter what you have like fed it. So my point is that anecdotal evidence if you just listen to every single anecdote in the world, you will find one anecdote sooner or later that perfectly matches what you want to prove. And therefore, it doesn't prove anything. Change your Twitter name, it's offensive. That's uh, literally my name. Perhaps consider legally changing your name. Your name is hurtful. No thanks, it means lover in my own language, so consider shutting the frick up. And there is the name at the top. I am actually not going to say this out of context, because 14-year-old uh, Twitter girls would have a field day, but there are different countries in the world <laughs> with different languages. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine the concept. <laughs> BBC News. An increasing number of mothers are using cannabis to help them parent. And look at all them angry faces. How many angry faces would there be if she said wine instead? Oh, everything would just be crying until I'm laughing emoji. Ha! <laughs> Live, laugh, alcoholism! <laughs> Daya, local guide, two stars. It was my third visit today to the falls, and I noticed every time I go less water streaming. I suggest them to do something to the falls to make higher or more interesting. I wanna speak to your manager, can you like do a rain dance or something? I don't freaking know. A few things my fifth grader thinks squirrels are scared of. Karen squirrels, I die. A few things, okay, COVID, cars, <laughs> Karen squirrel. <laughs> I take back anything negative I've ever said about kids. This is beautiful. <laughs> Truth or dare? Dare! Get vaccinated, bish. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Facebook. Oof, this is gonna be a good one. Hi, table for two, please. Sure. Uh, and your name? Michelle. Great. And do you and your guests have your vaccination cards? Hmm, well, first, can you tell us who our server will be? Uh, looks like Brad will be your server tonight. Great. Can you show us Brad's vaccination card? Uh, and also, can you provide me proof that Brad is not a carrier of HIV, hepatitis A or B, and I communicate the disease? Same for you and the kitchen stuff. Are you planning to uh, sleep with your server? That I think you're at the wrong place. Um, also, we prefer to not be served by someone who, in the use of recreational drugs such as marijuana, cocaine, meth, fentanyl, etc. So, if you can provide us with Brad's most recent talk screen, that would be great. Matter of fact, I'm gonna need to see all your employees' medical history. <sighs> let me let me give the manager. That would be great. Thanks. Make sure they have their vax card and medical records, please. <laughs> Here's the thing: nobody needs restaurants and other places, but they need us. Start standing your ground, stolen and passing along. Willing to bet a hundred bucks that the person you just talked to doesn't get paid enough to deal with your BS. You're not being as sassy and smart as you think, you're just being kind of obnoxious to someone who's simply following, you know, the guidelines of their workplace. <sighs> really? First really cold day of your own power is going to be out for nine hours. Job well done, local energy company. And we will all get two cents off our bill. Wait to be on top of things. You're joking, right? Does this look like an easy fix? Somebody just rammed the crap out of that electric system. <laughs> what do you want them to do about it? <laughs> it will take the time it takes. Masks optional. Smiley face closed due to illness. Not even Nostradamus could have predicted this to this. Parking only for homeowners or parents who need to unload groceries while child is screaming, crying, hungry, retired. Respect moms, respect the hood. Okay, now, uh, asking the world to adapt itself around you because you decided to have a snot goblin isn't that kind of thing. I mean, any normal, decent person would, you know, leave space for someone, you know, bothered with children and that kind of stuff. It just makes sense. But this kind of entitlement is not is kind of weird in the other direction, too. You can have extremes on one side that just makes a hassle for people for no reason, and you can have the entitlement that 
that is an extreme on one side, where people think the world should adapt to them just because they chose to have kids. Both are silly and weird. Just be decent. It, it's usually not that hard. <laughs> I say usually, but... <laughs> this place proves <laughs> otherwise. Holy shit! $450 for some import to run a dusting cloth over surfaces and then push a vac around the place. <laughs> I'm in the wrong business. Assume an 8 hour day, that's almost 60 hours per hour for unskilled work. You're dreaming, right? Won't be using your services that for sure. Thank you for your thoughts, Joel. We are in fact Australian. Not that there's anything wrong with being an import, as you say. A full bond clean includes is far more than a simple dust and vacuum. It includes the deep cleaning of hard to reach places, wall cleaning, the removal of mold, hard baked dirt, the light fixtures, windows, window tracks in outdoor windows, deep clean of the oven, and this is just the basics. It takes far longer than you expect. It's hard, non-stop work. However, we are glad that you will not be using our services, as we prefer to not serve racist individuals. <laughs> well, they really got rid of that dirty client, didn't they? Oh, really cleaned up the mess. Trip advisor. Walked out of Bail Bar concert one star. Booked two tickets in Grand Circle. People sitting in area with staff unable to control. Whole audience ruined experience at laughter after Everett's sentence. People laughing at a comedy show. I am outraged. Too many non-comedy fans in the audience. <laughs> Which the gatekeep was allowed to come. Like, ah, you paid for your tickets, but in my opinion, you're not a comedic appreciator. And you laugh too much. Get out. Would have been better in a smaller venue. Then buy tickets for a smaller show. You knew the venue when you bought the tickets. What are you talking about? Comedy is not for everyone and that's okay. Stop the pretense, people. This person uh, probably is the one who doesn't have a great sense of comedy. I'm just gonna put that wild hypothesis out there. Just a heads up for the fourth gate parents regarding the boy slash girl talk educational meeting tomorrow. There will be a boy present for the girl talk. If you think your daughter will be uncomfortable with a the boy there, as would most nine ten year old girls who are already embarrassed talking about this stuff, you will have to opt out or keep them home. Oh, and they will offer you one on one with your student and the nurse so they can still receive the information. One solution is to exclude the boy or give him. I, I, I know exactly what this is about and you're emphasizing things just to be offensive on purpose. You're racking down on a child. Ugh. But legally, our school cannot do that. I am not sure why a boy needs to learn all the ins and outs of menstrual cycles and tampon use, etc. But here we are. Honestly, that would be kind of neat to like just teach boys in, in general. Like the amount of young boys I have met who are completely clueless about these things until they have their first real relationship when they're like, I don't know, upper teens or 20s. It's, it's, it shouldn't be like that. We should <laughs> learn about our own anatomy and our potential partner's anatomy just in general. It's just a good thing to know. I was only made aware of this student attending the girl class this morning, so this is just an FYI for any other moms who signed up the form to sign in their girls. Maybe not a big deal to some, but it is to me. My daughter has been in school with him since kindergarten, and she knows he is a boy. She's already embarrassed and a little uneasy about the class, so adding a boy to the mix is just too much. Well, I remember those classes. They were kind of uneasy, you know, period. It's, that's, just, that's just how it is. It, it's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. It's important cringe. And to be clear, I have talked to the superintendent about the situation. It's out of control. It doesn't matter what any of us feel is right. State and federal laws allow this, and that's the end of it. Man, what a way to create big issues out of very tiny things. <laughs> yeah. Masks are mandatory. No ifs, ands, or buts. Everyone in our store is required to wear a mask. Forgot your mask? We got one for you. Thanks for doing your part to keep our community safe. Ah! <sighs> Honestly, what I like the most about wearing a mask is that I don't have to be recognized by, you know, old classmate from 15 years ago and have, you know, a semi-awkward conversation that you know that no one really cares about anyway. I can just walk into a local grocery store and be like, I won't be recognized by anybody. I can just be here, listen to my music, be semi-grumpy and pick up the bananas. One of your apron color options for black use is a very offensive word. Please remove it before I report your page. Regards, Mary. Hi, Mary. We are a Mexican business based in Tampa FL. Our page is in Spanish. That word means black in Spanish. First of all, this is America. Speak English. At least it'll say <laughs> speak American. <laughs> Secondly, this word is a highly offensive word. My neighbor is black and I'm sure she'll hate this. You're really used to like, I I know a black person's... Okay, okay. Ma'am, that's how you say color black in Spanish. Our business targets speak mostly Spanish. I'm sorry I can't cater for your feelings. I report your page to Instagram for offensive language. Oh dear God. <laughs> Let me get this straight. <laughs> You're actually <laughs> trying, to, trying to be racist and justifying it by I have a black neighbor. Oh dear god. 
Karen trying to be anti-racist while actively being racist. Yeah, take off! Oh, yes! She used the good old I have a black neighbor. Not even a friend or justification is that a black person happens to live near her. But it's enough for me. I am justified. Dear anonymous passerby, don't worry. You are safe now. Your act of casual cruelty was successful. The complaint you lodged with the HOA was heard. They had me take down the small tree fort that I built on this location with my sons during the pandemic. No longer will its presence offend your walk past my house. Please enjoy your stroll free from the sound of my children's play and laughter. They are safely back inside now, watching television, I'm sure. Enjoy the unobstructed view of my backyard. I will try to keep up the code. Yes, I'm doing the important less joy for everyone. Woo! What would happen if a Karen has to speak with the manager of a completely automated store? You're like one of those completely computerized gas pumps. But I asked for gas, not diesel. It's self-serving. Karen, I had a new refrigerator delivered today and they had the nerve to send me one that wasn't pre-cooled. That's a thing? Pre-cool? Why do you care? I obviously denied the refrigerator and sent it back. I didn't spend 1,460 for a warm box. Plug it in, and it's gonna be cold in like 20 minutes. I want my fridge to be cold when it arrives. Duh! The dumb driver looked at me like I'm the bad guy. <laughs> what happened to the customers always right? Oh my, the customer is almost always wrong. Dear God, do you think a customer knows more than the professional that actually works in the place every single day? Chances are, no. A customer is always right in the sense of what they need, or like what they, what they want, or what their own preferences, that kind of thing. And then you, as the expert, try to like find something that matches that. But the customer isn't always magically right. That's, that's a really outdated. Say, saying that mostly just the toxic people use as justification. Customer service has really gone down the drain. Do you also deliver like your oven preheated? Or is, or is that too much to ask? Hi Blorp, is this still available? Message sent. Yes, sir, it is available. When can I come look at it? You can come now if you want to. I'm headed to get my daughter's shots at the moment. Would be around 2.30, be okay? Message me then. I've had about 30 people message me about it. I am really interested. I don't want it sold out from under me. Can I have an address I can head that way as soon as we're done? Message me when you can be on your way. If I still have it, you can come get it. Just get out, now I'll be on my way. It's, uh, it's gone. Wow, you're really something. Whoever gets there first gets it. I have 37 people messaging me. I don't hold stuff. Thank you for helping make my kid's day. <laughs> it's people like you I'll warn him about when he's old enough to understand. When you promise something to a child, you should be sure you can fulfill that promise first. I told you that you could come get it. You were unavailable at the time. I told you to message back when you're available and then you could come get it if it's still available. During this time, someone else came and got it. That is how selling things work. When 37 people want one item, the first available person gets it. 26 people message me before you. You would have got it before any of them if you would have been available, but you were not. That's why I moved on to the next available person. If your kid's day was ruined, that's on you for making a promise without knowing if you could keep it or not. I also gave it to the other person for free. <laughs> Just that last sentence. <laughs> I was awoken this morning at 5.45 a.m. by the snow removal people at the development behind my house. Every time it snows, there's snow removal people come with their trucks and snowblowers at some hour of the night or very early morning. Who at the township would I have to make aware of this issue to start the ball rolling to force them to stop this practice and do this work during normal waking hours? I bet this person will be the same person to complain that the roads are clogged in the morning if they haven't done the snow plowing before rush hour. <laughs> You just can't win sometimes. <laughs> our soccer ref didn't show up, so one of the moms on our team had her nine-year-old son ref for us. He had a whistle, and a completely adult woman on the other team argued with one of his calls, and he yellow-carded her in front of everyone, so she had to sit in her car to calm down. I can just see that in front of me, and it's beautiful. Blorp says he hopes COVID-19 vaccine will not be mandatory for players. Oh, God. The Public figures really shouldn't be listened to. I tell this to people all the time. I rant and have fun about things, but don't take what I say too seriously because I'm just a dumbass who happens to make videos online. People who are entertainers and that kind of stuff aren't experts in every single area. I can say, when I talk, for example, about statistical math or when I rant about engineering, you, you can uh, trust what I say relatively uh, consistently because that's my expertise. That's what I used to work with before I did this. But when it comes to random other stuff, I apply common sense and hopefully get it right. But don't take my word for gospel and don't do it to anyone else as a public figure because we are not the experts, we're entertainers. Ray Posting, a pediatrician, called me and asked me what I would do. He's running 30 to 40 tests per day. This is, in part, what I told him. Link in comments below. Ah, yes, professional doctors calling anti-vax Facebook Karens about uh, medical advice. <laughs> and then everyone in the Starbucks clapped. 
Crime Watch and information. Corrected. Wendy's on Blorp Karen didn't get her fries. Asked to see manager. Employee at the window is the manager. Karen in her red Prius called the cops and refused to move from the drive through lane until she speaks to police. I'm willing to bet money that she got just forgot to order her fries. <laughs> now she's trying to like call the cops on some, some employee who doesn't have the time to deal with her garbage. My autistic ass wearing a tube down my nose and not whining about it. Karen's trying to use autism as an excuse not wear a mask. To be fair, there are a lot of issues where you are unable to wear a mask. Um, there, are, there are plenty of excuses and valid reasons to why you wouldn't wear one. Of course, the problem in this case is you have people claiming to have those reasons, making life much more difficult for the people who actually cannot wear one, uh, which is just so sad in many ways. Anti-vax Karen storms the vaccination center in Milton Keynes, stealing supplies to later dump them. This, this is like even worse than the people who, you know, bought up a hand disinfectant and sold it at an upped price, because this is just completely wasted. Dear God. Arkansas woman rolls her truck shortly after speeding by cyclists to kick up dust. <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> really? Dear neighbor, we are well aware 2021 has been a very difficult year for so many in our neighborhood. For some it was a loss of job, for others loss of income, and for many of us a loss of health. This holiday season we're asking each other to come together by showing our kindness and consideration for those neighbors going through difficult times. It all begins by eliminating loud music and fireworks after 10pm. The best gift we can give is silent night. Honestly, I kind of agree with it, like, noisy neighbors are the worst, but also I get the feeling this is in the context of, like, New Year's, which is kind of silly, so... <laughs> Every other day of the year, like, weekdays and before work, perfectly valid. New Year's Eve? Maybe not so much. I am writing this from the bathroom because I just got into a huge argument with my husband and I don't know what to do. We and our three children had an upcoming trip planned for Disney World on Tuesday and a 10-day stay at the Grand Florida and a wonderful Italian that included four parks and Blizzard Beach. Of course, the parks are now closed and my children are beyond devastated. It's the worst thing that could ever have happened to them. Uh, I called Disney's customer service line to speak with the representative of how they can make this right. He promised a refund and the ability to rebook for another time, but that obviously isn't good enough. I told him that he needed to do better than that, and he said he was just following the guidelines put forth by the company. I suggested as a means to rectify this, that he provide us in future accommodations in the secretive suit located in Cinderella's castle. I said that's the only way to make up for the hardship my children are facing, and to provide us with a truly unforgettable experience, one that goes beyond the standard Disney trip and will completely wash away the painful memories that will undoubtedly stay with them for years. <laughs> A uh, traumatic experience of having a Disney trip cancelled. Well, <laughs> what about everyone else that had their stuff cancelled? This isn't anyone's fault. It's just a crisis in the world. He audibly scoffed at this and said this was way, way beyond his authorization. He said tens of thousands had their vacations ruined and it wasn't his or the company's fault and they were doing the best they could. Well, th that's a pretty, yeah, that's a pretty good answer. This dismissal pissed me off. <laughs> I hung up the phone in rage, and my husband immediately was like, What the frick was that? He told me I was a psycho bitch for the way I spoke to the customer service rep, that I was extremely unreasonable and rude, and he was genuinely disturbed by my behavior. He said he doesn't know what happened to the woman he married, and he's not sure he can even look at me the same way again. Ah, that was worth it. Oh, yes indeed. The best hill to die on in this is this little mud pile that no one cares about and you overhype. Judge Karen says it's totally inappropriate that a 72 year old cancer patient can't clean the overgrowth on his house and would give jail time if she could. Yeah, seems about the right thing to be harsh about, doesn't it? <laughs> Saving the world one old person at a time. Wait a minute! Wait a freaking minute! Walgreens is advertising for cold and flu season! Cold and flu? They're selling Kleenex and Multinex for cold and flu? Freak you, Walgreens! Just freaky freak you guys! I thought everything was not curve! Corvids? Corvids? Rit! Freaking Corona? Rit! There's no flu colds anymore? Rit! Look what these are so- Nobody said there's no flu or colds anymore. What? Like, what? Mo oh, what? Anti-vaxxers are like children. They believe the first thing they hear and will argue with anyone who contradicts it. As such, they must be treated like children. When it comes for a child to eat their vegetables, it is best to avoid yes or no questions, such as, do you want broccoli? The child will most often respond with no. The best approach is to offer them a choice, such as, would you rather have broccoli or green beans? This makes the child feel in control of their decision to eat their vegetables. Likewise, we mistakenly ask these people to take the vaccine for the sake of others. Like children, they don't see the value in that. More Moreover, they feel like they're not in control. It is better to make it clear that they will be receiving the shot and offer them a choice, such as, would you rather receive a COVID vaccine or anesthesia? <laughs> no matter which choice they make, everyone wins. 
<laughs> oh my god. That took a twist. This onion won't make me cry. Vaccines are devil's work. Vaccines weren't mentioned in the Bible, so how do you know they're from the devil? <laughs> it made me clear. Is it true that the masks are coming from Wuhan? You can't make this stuff up? Some people in the world seem to think that everything is like a Skyrim dungeon puzzle. And if you spin a little thing so it matches another thing, you have suddenly cracked the entire code of like the ruling class in the world. And this, you know, little little wordplay in, in the title of a company. When you move around the letters, it spells evil dark corporation if you really squeeze it together. And that's proof that uh, Bill Gates is in fact an alien. <laughs> Only someone stupid will fall for that. Vaccines are bad, the earth is flat, Facebook moms munch. Harold, your posts ruin my day. They really do. When one of them shows up on my timeline, I get really upset and it takes me like one or two hours before I'm able to resume what I was doing. I will be blocking your account so this doesn't happen anymore. Enjoy your weekend, Harold. I need to see Harold's posts. Don't. He is just a Debbie Downer because her name was Debbie. Oh, 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 oh. Man, we have reached a zenith of comedy. Hi, my name is Karen. I upcycle dead squirrels I find in Heatham Park. All right. A perfect pens for holders, cutlery, etc. So my husband uses the head for golf so nothing gets wasted. <laughs> 10 each or two for 35? Okay. First off, the math is just... Wow. Secondly, what? And what do you do in shortage of items? Do you just like forcefully make sure squirrels drop dead? And what do you mean golf with heads? I have so many questions, and I'm not sure I want the answer to any of them. This Karen is being racist against a dog. A blind woman was told to get her freaking dog off a bus by a passenger who didn't believe guide dogs would be any other color than yellow. She claims the woman called her a liar because guide dogs are yellow Labradors and your dog is black. You see, if it's black, it's not capable of doing this job for for the color of, of the fur. So here's a picture someone snagged over the shoulder, someone texting their friend. <laughs> we have COVID. Shh, 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 that's why we're coming home a day early on the plane. Yeah, we snuck on this plane with COVID. We are respectable members of society and everyone else are sheep. We are the one with the, with the sane choices, obviously. Disclaimer, that was a joke. This is a bad choice. Don't do this. You're, you're, a, you're a little meanie and you deserve a spanky wanky if you, if you do this. My neighbor is actively trying to catch COVID, so she will be naturally immunized for when she catches COVID logic. She wants to spread it around as much as possible for the same reason. Spreading a lot of time at the gym always out. Uh, our other neighbors is an ICU nurse, which makes things interesting. I'm getting sick of these idiots. I think the best argument I saw why natural immunity isn't the best thing in this case, because it's such a widespread pandemic, the odds of mutations occurring increases the longer people are infected, because that's the time when the virus can potentially mutate. If you're vaccinated, you're on average sick for a much shorter time and less likely to infect others. If everyone goes through natural immunity, process, that means the likelihood for a mutation skyrocket. So even if you get an immunity afterwards, there'll be so many more mutations that it's simply going to be, well, kind of out of control. And thank you all so much for watching this beautiful video. I do hope you have a wonderful day, you beautiful bin. I will see you again in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.